Leading us off at 6 o'clock, fentanyl, a highly dangerous drug, is now being laced with a powerful animal tranquilizer. Officials are calling it the zombie drug. The White House is declaring the combination an emerging national threat. 13 On Your Side's Carla Byron joins us now with how the Drug Enforcement Agency is combating the threat here in Michigan. Xylazine is an easily accessible animal tranquilizer and has effects similar to opioids. The DA Detroit Division is working right now to educate the public of its dangers. What we're going to describe for you today is literally a fight to save lives. Xylazine laced fentanyl, now present in 48 of 50 states, including Michigan. Xylazine is an animal tranquilizer, but it's being used by Mexican cartels as a low cost cutting agent. One does not have to produce credentials uh, to, to purchase Xylazine or purchase Xylazine on the internet or from um, a site that caters to, to, to veterinary. Xylazine makes the crisis even worse because it is not reversible by naloxone and because of the hideous effects that it can have on those who use it. Those include depressed breathing and heart rate, unconsciousness and necrosis, which can lead to amputation. Since March 1st, Corwell Health's addiction clinic has had six outpatients test positive for xylazine laced fentanyl. An addiction specialist encourages high risk people to be tested, especially if they notice any wounds. Knowing that it's possible that it's out there, knowing that if you think you may have been exposed um, to come and talk to someone like myself who's an addiction specialist. The U.S. Attorney for Western District of Michigan says they're trying to disrupt the supply lines, but they can't just prosecute their way out of the opioid epidemic. This crisis demands an all hands on deck approach that includes medical professionals, uh, mental health specialists, social service providers and others. But disruption of the supply lines and accountability for those who manufacture and traffic in these poisons is an important part of the solution. A bipartisan bill was introduced in the U.S. House and Senate in March that would classify xylazine as a controlled substance in an effort to crack down on this growing threat. In the newsroom, I'm Carla Byron, 13 on your side.